Hello everyone, welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric, thank you so much for tuning in. So this is just going to be a general reading for today, the day of October 16th. It is Tuesday. I hope everyone's feeling well so far, is doing well so far. I have, hope everyone had a good day yesterday. Um, there were a lot of purgy energies still, um, even though I feel like you most likely were on the tail end, as it was pretty purgy over the weekend. Um, yesterday, there was still some residual energies. So let's go ahead and get into it for today and see what we've got going on, yeah? Okay, so this is just going to be a general reading, okay? So it's not love-specific, it's not career-specific, um, and it's not sign-specific either. This is just for the general collective. So... Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. It might resonate with you later. Check back tomorrow. Maybe it'll resonate with you. You'll, tomorrow's reading will resonate with you. That kind of thing. Yeah? All right. Hello, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the collective. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the day of Tuesday, October 16th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so immediately, as I was saying that, I saw orange, um, and I heard there's still some purgy energies going on. But then as soon as I heard that, I was looking deeper, and um, I saw yellow. So if you are still in that purgy energy, I really feel like at this point, you're kind of really clear on what it is you're purging, why it is it's happening, why it's happening the way it is why it's happening the way it is, why this situation that you're purging or these energies that you're purging, why they um, manifested in the way they did. Um, this is really a moment where you're really starting to become clear on things uh, with the yellow energy, which for me often talks about clarity. Um, and it's almost like it resembles the light of the sun, um, which is illuminating. Um, but then also with yellow, that is your solar plexus. So you really might be driven to move forward. You really actually, and this is something that I picked up yesterday as well, you know, as I was going through my day and going through the energies, you really, many of us that have been feeling these purgy energies at this point, we're just kind of like powering through it. Like no holds bar, <laughs> barred, balls to the wall. Like, let's just get through this shit so we don't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> which isn't so bad oh my god and I just guys look I just realized I don't know if actually I don't know how well you can see it but my shirt is yellow today <laughs> it's like a neon yellow so that's cool Ooh, synchronicity okay let me shuffle up here all right Tuesday October 16th again I hope everyone's doing well October 16th. Halloween's coming, guys. That's exciting. <laughs> oh, and also, if it seems like I'm talking low or something, um, I'm not like I'm not sick or anything. I'm not. Well, I'm not that tired. I mean, it is what quarter to seven in the morning. <laughs> but um, also, I'm just trying to be respectful for the of the people that are not up yet. Yeah, because <laughs> I am in an apartment building and I do have roommates, so. There's that. Okay. Tuesday. Oct okay. October Seven of Cups. All right. So, okay. So already we've got the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Woo! I wanted to fly out. All right. Okay. One more pull here. Let's see if there's any. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And boop. All right. Cool. Excellent. Okay. 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 Excellent. Oh, wow. All right. So we still have some continuing energies from yesterday. Underneath the deck is the Empress. Okay. So the Empress came out yesterday. Um, and what did she come out with? She came out with, I don't remember now. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this is the Empress. Okay. So you're still in some really fertile energies. All right. The Empress is also speaking to the rise of the Divine Feminine. 
So this is why a lot of these purgy energies are coming through, okay? This is why we're doing all this purging right now, because the Divine Feminine is rising within all of us, whether you identify as masculine or feminine in nature. So, um, so um, yeah, there's a lot of purging and there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. But what the Empress is also saying is there is this is a really fertile time. You might be really feeling very creative. Um, so as you're going through these purgy energies, as you're you know you're cleaning all this, clearing all this stuff out. Um, if you want to express it, express this energy or express yourself creative creatively, that's highly recommended. Um, it's very cathartic. It's very healing. Um, also, this on and uh, there's a theme right now. I'm going to say, uh, until Venus retrograde ends, okay, and the Empress is also the energies of Venus, in my opinion, so this is also talking about this Venus retrograde situation period, um, this is also going to cause a lot of purging, especially when it comes to relationships, but this is really a time of self-care, okay, the more you can practice self-care during this time, the better off you'll be, I'll, I'll say, um, the easier it will be to get through all this purginess. So the first card out is the Seven of Cups, all right? Um, and it's funny, I did a personal reading for myself yesterday, and that was the first card that came out. Um, so this, again, is speaking to the purgy energy. Um, it's it's like seeing all now. Now, normally in the, in the traditional deck, um, the Seven of Cups is depicted as someone standing in front of seven different cups that have seven different things in it. Some good, some bad. Um, I'm using the beautiful creatures to row for this, so this is not depicted in the same way, but um, delusions is what this card says, okay? And so basically, um, you know, we're kind of being faced with all these different things that, you know, could be distractions, could be put in place to confuse, um, but also it's a bunch of different things that we just need to clear away, okay? Because they're illusionary. And like I said in the past, or just now, they're, they're kind of distracting, okay? Um, we've got the Four of Swords here with the Page of Wands, okay? And actually, Page of Wands came out over the weekend. Um, but this is like a pause, okay? Um, with the Four of Swords and the Page of Wands, this is a pause. And it's interesting because it's kind of an opposing energy, whereas the Page of Wands is kind of the the naive, the the fresh start, the new beginning, the, the, that passionate message. And the Four of Swords is like the hold back. It's like the, the wait a second, let me pull back and like meditate or rest before I jump back into the battle. And so what I'm getting here is like there's a pause, there's passion, there's a desire to really move forward. Of oh, the Page of Wands for me, it says venture here, but it's also about self-discovery, okay? So it seems like it's an opposing energy, but actually, now that I look at it, this feels really good. The Seven of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Wands, because we're we're rediscovering ourselves, we're understanding ourselves from a different point of view, okay? And that's really excellent. You've got Judgment. Oh, excellent, guys. We've got Judgment with the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is in reverse. That's fantastic, okay? Um, judgment is really... This is the resurrection. This is the second chance. This is the... Um, the rebirth and with that rebirth you know we're coming out of a period of indecisiveness we're coming out of a period of um basically being blindfolded or refusing to see things as they truly are and it's all because of this purging and it's really i mean this this feels this feels so great so then also we have the nine of cups here which did come out yesterday um Put this here. We did the the nine of cups did come out yesterday. So all of this is in service of um, wish fulfillment. Now, some some might really be drowning their sorrows, um, over drinking, um, you know, just indulging in substances or whatever to cope, and that's okay um, to a certain extent. But just be careful, okay? Don't, don't instead of drinking it all away, or instead of just trying to numb the pain, it's best that you just deal with it. Instead of trying to blind yourself with the two of swords here, instead of blinding yourself to all these different illusions, all these different things that are going on here with the seven of cups, it's best just to 
view them. It's best just to look at it, to feel it, to get through it and pull yourself over out to the other side where you'll be in a better place, okay? We did have we did have one card that fell out face down and to me, yeah, and it literally just fell face down again. This is the only card that fell face down. It's the seven of pentacles. So I'm taking this as the hidden element, okay? We've been going through a lot of purging lately, guys. A lot of purging. And there is a lot of us that are like, oh my God, is this ever going to end? Yes. Yes. Why? Because you have the Seven of Pentacles. You have progress here. This card, it says progress in this deck. Um, this is also about, you know, waiting, um, uh, patience, but also it's about harvesting, okay? It's about having planted the seeds and now you have this new harvest to plant. So again, we're learning about, we're, we're learning this constant lesson in reaping what we've sown, okay? And in some cases, it's a good thing. In some cases, it's not such a good thing. It just depends on what you personally have, what seeds you have been personally planting, okay? But overall, this feels really good today. I mean, again, yes, we're still kind of purging, but what I feel like right now is it's not so much of a purge as it is um, a rebuilding. Like, it literally, today, it feels like a lot of the, the shit is gone, and we can finally, like, rest. We can finally, you know, see, stop, maybe, stop running away, stop denying, stop eluding, um, and really accept this judgment or this second chance, this reconciliation. We can really answer the call that's been coming in. Yeah, finally pick up the phone and start to do the, take the actions to rebuild, okay? And it's all in service of what we truly just of of you know wish fulfillment what we truly want the nine of cups so that's great that's really really great okay so now i'm gonna get into the oracle message for the day we're gonna go with the crystal mandala again today and then i'm gonna close out with the whispers of love i do want to close out with whispers of love throughout this venus in retrograde season just because I feel like it'll be really helpful. Um, Venus is going in, is going to be in retrograde, I think, until like mid-November. I could be wrong on that. Anyone that knows when Venus retrograde officially ends, please put it down. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section because I would really love to know myself. Because let me tell you guys, this Venus, the, the Venus in retrograde is really... Well, in the beginning it was kicking my ass. Um, but now that I kind of understand it, a little better it's not so bad but the empress is definitely talking about that okay she's definitely symbolizing venus right now and to be quite honest it might feel tumultuous but actually it's really really good it's actually a very very good thing because we're able to really heal really clear things away really get away really get through wow i'm sorry guys i'm um, there's still more to say, but um, really get through this illusions of grandeur and see things as clearly as you can, and finally make a decision on something. If you've been, if you've been confused about a situation, okay, you've got the seven of cups and you've got the two of swords in reverse. If you're confused about, I mean, and didn't the two of swords come out yesterday? I don't know. It came out um, previously, but and it came out in the reverse. But anyway, if you're if you've been refusing to make a decision, if you've been refusing to see things clear, something as clear as you possibly can, if you've been avoiding something, deluding yourself in some way, now is the time to really you've got the fur you've got the fertility of the Empress here to really help you get through that, to help you make that decision finally, okay? It's really great. It's really, really great, guys. It just feels really good. Okay. Now, now we're going to get into the oracle message for the day. Here we go, guys. October 16th, 2019. All right, let's see what we've got here today, guys. Oracle message for the for October 16th, 2018. Please, Spirit. Please, Spirit. October 16th, 2018. Woo! 
Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just too many. That's just too many. There we go. All right, on the bottom of the deck, we've got Goddess Bastet and Cat's Eye, Sacred Pleasure. We're going to take that one too, but I'm going to, okay. And your message for the day is, okay, Ascended Master Lady Nada and Rhodochrosite Sensitivity. Cool. So I am just going to read both, but we're going to start with number card number 21, Sensitivity. Okay. We bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you were to continuously feel and work with subtle energy. Receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, feeling and releasing energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous sparkling particles of life force dancing wildly and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic worlds is like being invited to the most special and extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found it difficult to bear during, the, during times of emotional suffering, yet you have a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, you will help, I'm sorry, we will help you, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. That's excellent. And that really is a, it's a beautiful message, but it really falls in line with all the purging that we're doing. And um, the Empress absolutely talks about sensitivity, uh, receptiveness, um, the subtle energies being connected to the subtle energies being uh, connected to it. I mean, the Empress is the feminine is the, to me is the divine feminine. Okay. So, and the divine feminine, she's psychic, she's intuitive, um, she's sensitive. She's, you know, so she's, this is definitely purging and clearing away um, all these energies in order to, for you to be stronger in your sensitivity, to understand, to be able to, um, to be able to work with the subtle energies better and to be more, more aware of the subtle energies around you. This is clearing away the muck so that you can, you know, really honor your surroundings by being tapped in and tuned into the subtle nature of energy yeah this is really great okay and so under for underneath the deck you have card number 44 sacred pleasure okay goddess basset basset and cat's eye sacred pleasure here let's do it this way Okay. Sacred pleasure. We bring you the empowerment of sacred pleasure. It is said that the spirit has to be enticed into the body to give up its complete freedom and willingly take on an experience of limitation that could lead to divine growth. In, in, it needed the deal to be sweetened, so music was created, music that could only be felt and expressed through the body. Spirit jumped in like a clash and life was created. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> there is more life that can be created in you and your world, although there are undoubtedly struggles as a natural part of opening up to more life. There is divine sweetness, too. That is the, the gift of sacred pleasure. This is the pleasure that gives you joy in your aliveness. It is innocent, sensual, and life-affirming. It is time for you to receive more of this. It's, the oracle says it's time to put a little sugar in your bowl, okay? And this is absolutely um, echoing the, uh, the what, uh, what I was getting about um, self-care and really nurturing yourself at this time, being as nurturing as possible at this time while, as you move through these energies, as you do your own purging, um, as you clear, you know, as you basically clear your energy fields, okay? 
It's really excellent. So to close out the reading, I'm just going to get uh, some guidance from the Whispers of Love. Let's see what the Whispers of Love has to say for today. October 16th. October 16th, 2018. October 16th, 2018. Let's see what we've got for today. Close out. Closing message. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Underneath the deck, you've got true love. So uh, much, a lot of what's going on here in all of this purging and stuff, it's also clearing the way for true love. Okay. There's, so this is a lot, but luckily, I mean, it's only four, but okay, here we go. Love makes a difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, self-worth and importance. Okay. Uh, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. True, the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies expansion. So this really, we could be talking about twin flame situations here. A lot of this purging that's happening could be clearing the way for twin flames to be coming, you know, coming together. Um clearing away a lot more of the baggage, excess baggage I just heard, but also, oh wow, there's five of them. Um, <laughs> but also though, what this is, this to me is very much like the Two of Cups. Um, it's also like the Lovers, but in the, I'm getting an energy of the Two of Cups in the sense that, you know, this is union within, this is you coming together within yourself, okay? And so a lot of this purging is facilitating that. We have, be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Honor your feelings, okay, guys? This is not really a time for drowning, for, for drowning your sorrows, for, for numbing the pain. This is a time to feel it. This is a time to honor your emotions, honor your feelings. Feel these things, but not at, from a place... It's uh, You don't want to do it from a place, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but you really don't want to do it from a place of victimhood, of, um, you know, victim consciousness. You want to feel these things with intentions of releasing it, okay? That way you won't, basically you won't be plagued by it anymore. <laughs> and finally, we have listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So this is also, as you go through these energies, um, as you go through these energies, you know, be compassionate. Be compassionate with yourself. Be compassionate with others. Be patient with yourself and others, okay? Allow people their time and their space because this can be, this can be pretty rough. This can be pretty tumultuous, all right? Purging is not easy. And for many of us in the lightworker situation, the lightworker community, we're purging not just on behalf of ourselves, but our ancestors and our families. We're purging for the whole collective, all right? Everybody's going through it, okay? So just be compassionate with each other. Be be gentle with each other and be gentle with yourselves. Um, yeah. But all in all, we're actually, I really feel like we're getting through this really, really well, guys. So commends, we commend, uh, I'm commending you all. Kudos to you all for really pulling through. And um for facing things because again my my attention is being drawn to this two of swords here so like the two of swords is in reverse and i really love seeing that because it really to me it's talking about the fact that we're really just we're facing shit it's time to let all this all this go and see things as they truly are make a decision in which which way to grow which way to oh wow okay i was gonna say which way to grow but i meant to say which way to go and um you know, be decisive about something. Finally make a decision on something, you know. This could be coming out of non-communication for some of you may, sometimes some of you, I'm picking up that some of you may actually be, you know, be ready to speak, to like answer something. I don't know, speak to someone, who knows. <sighs> but anyway, there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, uh, much love to you all. I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.